hello guys welcome to mehe tutorials so in this video i am going to give you a demo on how to stretch columns and table layout dynamically and shrink columns in table layouts dynamically okay guys but before that if you didn't watch my earlier videos then please watch it first guys because it is necessary okay guys so now let's move forward let's move to android studio let's build it so let's switch it okay guys so we are in android studio table layout demo and this is our last part video so we will continue from there so guys here simply we have to add just we have to add this method of table layout so just table layout dot set that is column stretchable you can see here and here we have to simply pass the column index that we want to stretch so let me pass column index one and it is asking for boolean variable so let's set it true okay so now let's save it first so now let's run it guys okay it's building right now wait a second guys okay guys you can see here our app is installed and you can see here our output is perfect so guys our column first you can see here it is stretched okay guys so now let's move to another method that is shrink columns so let's see it okay guys but before moving to shrink columns there is one thing that i forgot so let's see it first as if you want to stretch more than one column then what will you do simply here just copy this line and here you have to just change the column number suppose let's say two okay so it will stretch both the columns one and two okay and now suppose if you want to stretch all the columns then just remove this guys and there is a method that set stretch all columns and here we have to simply pass true okay and let's save it and let's see its output so first of all let's run it okay guys so you can see here our app is installed and you can see here our output is perfect all columns are stretched guys here okay guys so now let's move to another property that is shrink columns so let's move okay guys so first of all for shrink columns just remove this unwanted line okay and to see the effect of shrink columns guys here we have to set some width so b3 dot sat width and here guys there is width in pixels so let's say 400 so guys there will be minor change in the output but it won't affect that much okay so here also i'm setting its width okay so now we have to just simply use the string column method so table layout dot set shrink sorry set column shrinkable guys okay here we have to pass this column index so let's say first and here we have to give it boolean value so let's say true okay so now let's run it guys okay guys you can see here our app is installed but you can see here while shrinking the column first you can see here it becomes small so we have to set it equally so we have to shrink one more column guys for that so let's go here and we have to just copy this line okay and paste it here and here let's say two 
okay guys so now let's run it again okay it's building right now okay guys it's installed so you can see here there is change in our output so this is all about shrinkable so guys, there is one more method so let's say it to shrink all the columns so using this table layout dot set shrink all columns and here we have to simply pass true okay guys so that's all about stretchable and sinkable columns so i hope that you understand it very well so guys see you in next video so thanks for watching this and please keep liking and subscribing my channel